Hello everyone, it's Cookie at Cookie's Cache, and we're back for the second part of that double bag opening that had all the stones, glass, and pastels in it. But to start off, I wanted to jump, before we jump right into that big bag, I wanted to show you what I got I um, from Moonstone Mamas. I purchased some items from her, and they came in, and I wanted to share them with you. So let's look in this box first. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember seeing this. She said she liked it, and I did too. It's kind of a, uh, it's a necklace, and it is silver tone. Beautiful chain work. It's 10 inches to the longest point, and it's got this little half circle here. This is tiger's eye, very pretty. And I think, I bet you that's what's in here. Yeah. It had a set of earrings with it. And these are hoops, about an inch, and they're about two and a half inch drop to them. Very pretty. They're also the tiger's eye. We did adjust our camera so we could get a better color going. And I think it's, it's working out good. But that's very pretty, Tiger's Eye. Moonstone Mamas, <clears throat> it's uh, Devin and her mother, Jamie. And um, they're on quite frequently during the week. And they have a lot of stones and jewelry. Very pretty things. Um, and uh, on Thursdays, I know she has a, a theme night. And she, um, she partners up with somebody else. Another one of the ladies from the community and um, has sales there, auction sales, and uh, it's very nice. I was looking for this. I saw that. This is a um, coral necklace stretch that I bought from her. I don't know that I'll leave it that way, but I might repurpose it. It's beautiful coral. It's It's been polished or tumbled, and it, but it still has the the darkness from where it was growing. It's very pretty. As it is, it's seven inches. And then this bracelet that I bought to match it has a um, lampwork bead and then the coral. Very cold, very nice, pretty. Here's a uh, millefiori. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And then the matching coral colored earrings. I don't, let's see if this is stone. Yeah, these are stone. So that's a nice little set. Very pretty. I like that. I'm trying to build my, my uh, inventory with stones and glass. Uh, it seems that people are more wanting more natural things. This is a also a stretch necklace of amethy amethyst beads, glass beads. Has a clear, has the clear station bead here on either side and then the dangle in the front. And that's very pretty. And as it is without the stretch, it is 14 inches long. Very nice piece. And then we have this glass bracelet stretch also. It's got the the lampwork beads and then uh, cat eye. Also another pretty, very bright blue, very nice. That's a gorgeous bracelet. And then let's see. Oh, and this. My husband was watching one of the videos that Devin was putting out and uh, she had this and he thought, ah, oh, perfect. We have a, a niece that likes whales very into whales and then there's this little whale tail and it's uh um it's turquoise color i don't know that it's turquoise stone i'll have to look at it closer but it is artisan made little wrap up here and uh carved so that'll make a very nice little gift for her so that was what i got from miss devon that's moonstone mamas be sure and pop in there and watch her channel. She's got her and her mom have some great things. Now this came out of that bag that I just said. This is 
I've gotten some bags from this uh, seller before, and she always throws in one of these little handmade kind of um, uh, quilted pieces. I don't know if she's cut them out of somebody's old quilt or what, but they are real cute. I don't know if they're polishing cloths. But in any case, let's see what, let's get into it and see what's going on. We want to move through this pretty well. Oh, now this is different. We're going to stay on with this last half till I get through it and see, because um, I don't, if I don't go far enough, it won't be enough for two, two videos. So we'll just, now this is different. This is a very much handcrafted artisan made, 16 inches, including the pendant. These are kind of teal colored seed beads. Then you move into the larger round beads, glass beads. And then all the seed work here. Isn't that pretty? That's really lovely. I just strung it around one of those. Now that is a stone there, but I say it's homemade because this lady actually, see a little bit of wear here or tearing, but you can always just kind of tack that down with some, some E6000. But isn't that pretty? A lot of work went into that, people. Lose your eyesight doing that stuff. Very nice, I like that. Another stretch bracelet. This is shell, dyed shell. A couple of pieces of abalone there and some crystal rondelles over here on the side, rose colored. This is the continuation of that, like I said, the stone, the glass and the pastel colors. Now this is a little bracelet, a lobster claw clasp. Some AB sprayed crystal beads, some brass looking beads, lobster claw clasp, and it has about a two inch extender, and some blue little glass beads. Very pretty. Let's see what this is coming out. I can't tell you all how how impressed I am with this bag, these two bags I've gotten. This is shell, chipped. Actually, it looks like mother of pearl, but the colors are indicative of shell, little square pieces. Very nice. Um, here is another stretch bracelet. Dyed halite, very cold. Got some good stretchability. That would go nice. That's a nice accessory piece for your turquoise necklaces. Here's another little crystal piece with uh, some freshwater beads. And they're kind of a misty blue. And some gray down here. Very pretty. Oh my goodness, I think, I think I see something that I really, really have been wanting for a long time. This is a barrel clasp. These are cold, they're 12 inches. They're um, shell, just natural shell. Very pretty, very white and creamy looking. And this, this is what I'm talking about right here, guys. When I was growing up, um, my mother had a rosary. And hers was crystal, like this. And it had, yep, this has the um, AB sheen to it. And it is a 14 inch to the where it comes together for the trichetra. And it's intact. It's got a crucifix that is silver tone. Let's check it. Yep, that's what I thought. I thought it would be sterling silver. This is a beautiful, beautiful cross. But when I was growing up, my mom had one and I just remember it so much. Well, when she passed, my sister uh, was, we, we all decided that my sister should have it. My, that's aunt that's on with me regularly 
as one of my uh, co-presenters, and she got it, and I always admired it, and now I have one, and I, I'm not going to sell this. This is too beautiful. So that's a keeper for me. I'm going to treat myself. Here's a bracelet, faceted, um, glass, toggle, very nice little piece. It is six and a half inches around. And then we have this another shell. I didn't say anything about shell, but that's okay. I'll take it because this is shell and uh, glass. Nine and a half inches with a four inch extender, lobster claw clasp. It's beige shell. And uh, the crystal clear um, faceted rondelles. Okay. These are glass stretch, just a green, just a casual little bracelet to throw on when you're going out. Here is, this is gorgeous. This is pearls and they are glass pearl covered glass and it's pearls and then crystal rondelles with kind of a, a very faint gold and it goes it alternates all the way down it is probably let me just measure it Thirty-seven inches long. Isn't that pretty? Very dressy. Very. That's quite a, a statement there. Very stylish. We have this one with uh, looks like rose quartz. It has a barrel clasp. It's pretty, and it's ten inches, and it has. The rose quartz, and then it has a piece of turquoise, and I think, can't quite get the color on that, but that looks like a garnet in there. Another very nice piece. You can hear me say that a lot, I guess. <laughs> Bracelet that needs to be restrung. It's crystal blue beads with a disco ball with rhinestones, but it, see how it picks up the color? Just flashy, flashy, flashy. Oh. We got two of these. I got one in the other bag. This was the one that I said Premier Design glass with the um, foil inside, all glass beads. Very pretty. Very nice piece. If you didn't see the first one, this one has a um, no extender lobster claw clasp, but does have a maker's tag, and it's eight inches. I've got two of those to spare. These are shells. A little bracelet with a very nice toggle. Good, heavy, sturdy toggle. And, well, I'm not going to put it together. We'll measure it. It's seven and a half long. So it's a good size bracelet. I said shell and then the crystals, the bi bicone, very small crystals. This is another stretch bracelet. These are shells. These are blue or no, very, very faint colored teal. And then it has the, the uh, rondelle in here, spacer, also teal. This is a... Stretch bracelet, and it says, there's a little bit of grunge here on it. Ermel, I can't, I'm going to have my husband look at it, but it's a teal colored with goldstone AB crystals in between, faceted, very pretty. Another stretch bracelet, glass beads, rondelle shape, and this one has a little tag on it, or... Aramish. 
Oh, Aramish is this one. And I don't know what that symbol is. These are nice stretch bracelets to put together. Here is a... This looks like a dyed agate. Or, yeah. Another little stretch. Very pretty. I hear necklace coming out. Glass and glass beads. These have the... Um, Foil inside of them, there's square ones, round ones, dark ones, light ones, with a gray, a gold tone with a gray. All of these are coming out that are just beautiful. This one is just stones, actually. Yeah. They look like stone. Pieces of agate, very pretty. Has a barrel clasp, it's older. It has some greens and some golds, some light browns. That one is 12 and a half inches. We might get through this one. Here's a large one, a little chunker. We'll do this one first. This appears to be either Chinese turquoise. It's not halite. It's not dyed halite. But it is a green turquoise. So either Chinese or possibly Tibetan. These look Tibetan beads. Very nice piece. Toggle. Heavy. So I'm just going to say all this is nice, 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 nice. Here are two stretch. I believe this. Well, somebody looks like they got some. They were painting their nails. I'll have to clean that up and see what that is. It looks like nail polish. But two sodalite stretch bracelets. Blue. Very pretty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I finally found something that didn't, didn't make it. How sad. This glass necklace with a barrel clasp. I'll have to wait and see if more things come out more pieces. They're little green hearts with the um, another, that Millefiori uh, inside. See them? Very cute. Might could get a bracelet out of that if I have enough. I'll set those aside and see what happens. I do see other pieces coming out that belong to that. Now this is hmm. <coughs> toggle bracelet six inches. This is a yellow stone. I don't think it's halite. I could be wrong. I'm going to have, have my hus husband check it out real quick. Take a picture of it. Now this is pretty. This somebody is hand, this is handmade. This is artisan made. I can just tell because look at these stones here in between. I think that is called Amazonite and then it has these little seed beads and then this AB blue bead that runs through it. It's gorgeous, but somebody did this. Somebody strung this. This is somebody, somebody's idea. Beautiful work. Here is a another I think this is an anklet. Yeah, it could be an anklet or an 8 inch bracelet. If you have a larger wrist, these are all glass beads with a little touch, just a hint of color running through them. Also pretty. These are dyed halite, turquoise color. It has a little paw on it, very cute little silver tone paw, and a little heart on this side. That's darling. And here's another one of those heavy, heavy, heavy um, stone beads discs with smaller rondelles in between. Very heavy duty toggle. That's pretty. Gold tone. Yellowish gold. I like that. And some more shells. These are more uh, are finer milled. They're like um, oblong or oval discs with small little pearls in between. You have your stretch 
um, glass rose quartz. It's glass, rose colored quartz. Um, this is that liquid silver, the bugle beads, and then the silver. And I'm going to. This might be called, called Desert Jasper. Desert Jasper. My husband said this could be Desert Jasper, which kind of has that feel to it. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, this is eight and a half inches, including the little glass part. Kind of an amber color, and then it's got some a swash of like white inside. Very pretty, very delicate. Now here's those uh, lampwork beads, blue, and then this is a stretch bracelet, and then the uh, the bicone larger crystal, you know, like a lavender, and then a white, and then the gold findings in between, or silver tone findings. But it's very pretty. Look at that with those beads. These right here. So. Oh, here. Now, I like these. I love these kind of bracelets. If I can figure out how to get them. I had to have my husband do it the other day because I just could not figure it out was a white bracelet that came in and had glass beads all over it. It was just, just gorgeous, but I couldn't figure it out. And this might be the same way. Oops, let's see. I think this goes through here. Anyway, they're um, glass beads. They are a kind of a gray color. And they are it's four strands. I just can't figure out which strand goes on which side. But gray and clear, and there's uh, round ones, all faceted, and there's darker gray ones, and um, very pretty, very nice. I'll have to untangle it before I look at it any closer. Here is another stretch bracelet, shell, and rondelle crystals in between, clear, and a white. Uh, nope, not mother of pearl, but just a white bead. And then it has a little, like an angel in gold tone stretch. Now this one's pretty, very, very pretty. Got some, some, makes a stylish statement. It's got a toggle bracelet or toggle clasp that I can't seem to hold on to. And let's see here, maybe? <laughs> okay, there it is. That is pretty. These are like a very light topaz, and then these kind of even lighter, and then they have these darker pieces in between. Silver tone, very pretty piece, and it is three inches. Oh, and this came out, and then the other one came out right behind it. It's a stone. It's a type of jasper. You can actually feel it. Pretty. It's got kind of a, a little bit of pink and some very light salmon and some brown. More matches. That's what we like. Okay. And then we have this necklace. These are all um, this is rose colored, light and dark rose colored, and uh, they have that AB kind of sheen to them. And then the silver tone, and then it has a little um, dragonfly here with the rhinestones. All of these pieces that have been coming out, knock on wood, I haven't, don't have any uh, rhinestones missing so far. So good. Got a couple of single earrings we'll set aside. Here's another stretch bracelet with. Um, Freshwater pearls, this, that's, this is that same very faint teal color. And another stretch bracelet. These are glass beads. Boy, I did get the bracelets, didn't I? Now, look at this. I've sold these before, not this particular color, but this is pretty. This has a Shambhala um, 
clasp or tie on it. It's nine inches, and these are uh, ceramic beads, and they're all hand painted. They're each one different. It's got teal and yellow, and yellow and green, and dark teal, and then some clay beads in between. It is gorgeous. This just needs a little wash. I'll just give it a quick dip because it's already in good condition. And I'd hate for anything to happen to this. It does work. It's just pretty tight. So that's a good one. Here comes another long uh, stone and pearl covered. That's pearl covered acrylic with it. Silver tone with the barrels in between. It's got a kind of a very light lime green pearl covered uh, acrylic. And the stones, there's a little bit of a chip on that one there. But this is 12 inches. You wouldn't even notice that piece there. These are um, glass. I don't, I'm not familiar with the bead. Hmm. Square bead, very pretty, very nice glass, very finished very well. Boy, this, this, these two bags have really stumped me. I'm going to have to get on the bandwagon and find out what what's what. Here's another one of those beads with that, or stretch bracelet with the, um, that like a medallion look. Maybe somebody can put that in the in my comments and tell me what it is. These are amethyst colored uh, rondelles and gray. They almost, they're like gray druzies stones or they could be acrylic with that gray over them sprayed to look like that but they have little gold tone um, spacers here gold tone bracelet very pretty gosh i just feel like i've died and gone to heaven this some maybe artisan made maybe not uh kind of a green and Faded green, very pretty with some crystals on it. A lot of nice sets coming out of there. A lot of nice pieces. Here is another piece of that. Maybe I can get a necklace and some, some, uh, and a bracelet or some earrings because that is a different color. That would be, even though they're hearts, it'd be cute for um, St. Patrick's Day. Quite a few, so I'm glad. Maybe it broke in transit, and that's what happened. There's two more. Three more, four, five. <laughs> Getting quite a pile going there, and I don't know what those are. But anyway, let's see what this is. Oh, that's that uh, resin poured over. Yeah, it's, this is a handmade piece. Different. Would go go really well with those green hearts that came out. That would be cute. It might be. Yeah, could be. Do up a little with some silver tone. Very nice. Okay. So here's a stone and shell bracelet, stretch bracelet, with the hematite little beads in between. This is an acrylic painted bead, but all in all, that's a nice little bracelet. Here's a large shell painted, dyed, and here's a green stretch bracelet. And this is some kind of a I think it's just glass. It does have that kind of a like film in it or debris like a almost like an amber piece but this is a I think it's just glass here is a very cool this is a, this is um, rose quartz on a pink stretch piece very cold very pretty very lightweight another green one you could have this green one and you could put it with this does need to be restrung. It has a little bit too much give. Here is a long necklace of Millefiori uh, and lamp uh, and lamp work, and some 
glass with the foil inside and it is 17 and a half inches and it has a tag on it that says Premier Design and it has about a three inch extender. Another green one falling out here. And it's like a teal and a blue and some pink glass. There's that. Aren't those pretty? This one has a little flower inside. This is a nice piece also. Well guys, we're getting to the end. And I'm very, very thankful that I bought from this seller. And I'm going to write and give her a thumbs up and tell her what nice pieces she sent me. These are cloisonne beads with um, the rose-colored foil-filled little brick, little square. And these are green. And then it has this lampwork bead here with a leaf. Very pretty. Very nice. Lots of bracelets. Here's cat's eye, white cat's eye stretch bracelet. Very nice also. Here's another one of those green beads too. So now I know what I'm going to do while I'm watching television. Got quite a few of those there. Oh, look at these. These just came out too. These are Brass. Look at these. These have that lampwork. They're gold, kind of gold colored. And they have the little flower, a little like rose inside with a little bit of foil in the center. Very pretty. And there's another bracelet. Very fond of this one. This is dark rose um, glass. And little pink hearts and silver tone leaves. Does need to be checked here. Toggle bracelet and it is three inches. So six inches around. Very nice piece. And here is a necklace with looks like it's an eternity. Let's see here. I don't see a clasp anywhere. It's got crystal rondelles. It's got opaque white. A little bit of a tinge of AB on these large ones and a row of glass, pearl covered glass. And it is about 20 inches long. Another fine piece. Very subtle. And then we have this stone chips, um, jasper with beige. I'm sure those are jasper as well. And then it has a piece down here. Oh, yeah. Okay. has these pieces as, as stations. Those look like they're inlaid mother of pearl. This is a very nice piece. Barrel clasp. It's 12 and a half inches. I wanted stones, guys, and I got them. Okay, let's see what we're coming up against here. Well, here's one little turquoise bicone beads. It is eight inches with a two inch extender that's finished. And it has this piece of jasper, kind of a very, very, very faint um, teal color. But with this, see how it picks it up? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> Some more crystals. Necklace. Let's see. This one's very dressy, too. Eight and a half inches. This one has spacers or stations toward the very bottom. And they it's graduated. They get a little larger down here with, uh, and then smaller up at the top. And the, um, the um, crystal cutting are more, it's more faceted down here. But these are little stations of rondelle spacers with the with the um, rhinestones in it. And let's do this one. Oh, yes, very pretty. Look at that. And it oh, <laughs> interesting. It has a little skull on it. Stretch bracelet. 
these are clear or opaque with like spider webs running through them. Spider web. There. I don't know if that's a stone or glass. I'll have to have a look at that and see. And then you've got two um, really rough feeling, oh, like blue druzies, very deep blue druzies. That's a different little bracelet. Now this one is really pretty. This is stretch. Uh, something. Oh, why would they do that? That's really odd. I'll have to change that. I don't, or is that a cup and saucer? I don't know. That could very well be a cup and saucer, you think? I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of like it. But these are the Mila, uh, Mila Fiori or Lampwork beads. They're beige gold. Very, 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 very attractive. Very subtle. Nice. And then we have... <laughs> this is so out of the ordinary, this orange piece, because they are... They're a stone with a... That looks like a J. Crew type clasp, spring ring clasp, very heavy duty. These are a different color and they're very heavy. They're hand knotted in between and they're cold. And they have, I see some of them have, looks like, like that one. There's a gray, like running through. So, yep, this is a stone necklace, very pretty. Got some weight to it, guys. Nine and a half inches. And then we have some, I believe this is sodalite. Very light blue. You're pretty with jeans. Very pretty. Oh, and here in this bag, we found the match to the little amethyst stone from the first bag pierced ear drops. And then last but not least, we have this uh, rondelite. I believe that's how you say it, rondelite. Necklace, little squares with little tiny cranberry colored, uh, a little bit bigger than a seed bead. Necklace, it is um, got a barrel clasp, older, nine inches. So getting close to a, um, sorry about that. Uh, to a choker, but very pretty, very soft. Okay, guys, that was it. And once again, I'd like to give a shout out to Moonstone Mamas. Devin, that bag was delicious. I loved it. It had all the things I wanted in it, and it came quickly, and I appreciate your diligence in getting those to me. And um, I thank you all for stopping me in. Please be sure if you saw anything you liked, you can go down to my comments, give me a timestamp on the piece and your email, and we can get together on prices. And if it works for you, it works for me. So um, take care of yourselves. Be sure and hit the thumbs up on the way out. Say, um, share with your friends and neighbors and say hello to your neighbors and take care of one another. God bless you. Thank you.